Hey guys, welcome back to the Mega Manathon, I guess, since we're playing through all of the classic games. Damn, is it hot in here. But as you can see, we are not on the Legacy Collection. Uh, we're playing Mega Man 3, but it's more like we're playing Mega Man 3 Improvement. It's a hack of Mega Man 3 that makes the game kind of a little bit more tolerable. It adds in like things that solve some of the glitches, because this game was is known for having a really rushed development. But... Um, I tried playing through the Legacy Collection version. It's just so glitchy. I didn't want to deal with it. So this time, uh, we're jumping over to fucking emulators. So it's going to sound a little bit worse because of emulation problems. But we'll at least have, like, a much better game. And they even added in cutscenes to fix up the story. Because even if there is little to no story, it still fixes, like, it tells you. So let's enjoy the story. In the year, it is the year 20XX, after beating, I beamed it twice, it moves pretty quickly. Came to his senses and realized. The terror he caused in the world is his rivalry with Dr. Thomas Light. <laughs> now reformed and willing to atone for his misdeeds, Mr. Wily, Mr. Wily, oh no, to help him with his new ga Project Gamma from Sonic Adventure. Yeah, <laughs> it moves a little bit too fast for me to read. Also, this part is weird. <laughs> Sent to Uncharted Planets. I didn't know space travel was already available in the Mega Man in this world, but okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh no! Ah. Uh. Hearing the news from Dr. Light, Mega Man immediately set out, but not alone. This time he would be supported by his new friend, Rush the Robot Dog. A new chapter of Mega Man's story was about to begin. Is about to begin. Anyway, this the hack makes it so that this game is a little bit more tolerable. Because, <laughs> surprisingly, it is harder than Mega Man 2's difficult mode. So, there's a weird weakness order in this game. So... There's technically two. So we could either start off at Snake Man, who beats Gemini Man, who beats uh, Needle Man. But Needle Man's weapon doesn't beat anybody except for Snake Man. So the other weakness chain is Top Man, then Shadow Man, then I think Spark Man, then I think Magnet Man, then Hard Man. Yeah, my favorite robot master, Hard Man. Then it beats Top Man. So there's two in a row, but I want to do... <laughs> Needleman first, because as it said in the opening, there is a new friend, and the best thing we get from Rush is from this stage, so I'd like to beat this stage first. Anyway, the game is the exact same. He's got shoot, he's got jump, but this time we've got the slide. I've been talking about it, but it's pretty much my favorite move next to the charge shot in his uh, repotar. 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 I don't fucking know how to say it. But it lets me dodge under things, so I really like it. Alright, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I did some practice on this stage, because it's kinda weird. Ah, come on. Ah, whatever. Yeah, they're just Sonic the Hedgehog-looking motherfuckers. Jump! Alright. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have not gotten better at Mega Man throughout these uh, two playthroughs, I have still not gotten better at Mega Man. But yeah, you, yeah, Wily has turned a new leaf, and he's he's a good guy now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these stupid ball things. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Worst part of the stage right here. The stages are actually pretty short in this game. I actually kind of like that over Mega Man 2, which... It was kind of bull. Oh shit, I could have dodged under that. I'm kind of an idiot. You gotta remember that the slide does indeed uh, exist in this game. Mm, I tried to dodge it, it didn't really work. <laughs> what the fuck? That's bull. Anyway. <sighs> well, I'm just damage boosting at this point, but you know me, I don't know how to do anything else. I only know how to ban damage boost. 
But anyway, <clears throat> the slide is gonna work into a lot more, like, uh, gameplay puzzles, I guess? Layout problems? Yeah, these things are kind of bull, because they've got really r long range to hit you. See, John's been texting me, and I've just been ignoring it. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Just make it... Ugh, I don't like... I don't like those... Mmm, that was close. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the stage already. Mmm, I think we'll probably have to spawn before the uh, spike section. But we do start out with something from the beginning. We start out with Rush Coil, and he helps us jump. We don't have any energy tanks currently, but... Ugh. I hate getting hit here. As you know from my Mega Man style, I just... <laughs> I take the damage. Also, we have a uh, turbo mode now, but I, I just... I don't really want to use it. Because it's a little bull. I probably shouldn't have that ability. There we go. Thank you for the energy tank. Now, Needle Man isn't extremely hard. I wish I would have had the... Uh, the weapon he's weak against, but it's like, you know, I'm fine with that. <laughs> he's not that hard. Uh, it'll just take me a couple tries. Alright. But yeah, there, there's another special friend in this game that we just haven't seen yet. And you'll see him soon. <laughs> Let me check what he was saying. I'm sure this show is good, it's just edgy. Yeah, there's... He was telling me about this, uh... A random girl in his class was talking about, like, a, uh... A show on Netflix called Lupin. Not Lupin the Third, just Lupin, which is based after just like uh, Arsene Lupin, not the anime. So it's like about this black guy, but I was like, it's not Lupin the Third, is it? <laughs> it's like if it was, then it's just like that's not Lupin. Let's see. All right, let's see. I've only got a little bit. I've still got an extra life, and then my E tank. Alright, and I know the music is really good in this game. Like, did you hear that opening theme? It's hard. <laughs> this dude is a little bit tough. Sometimes he'll just do random, like, spike things, and it's like, why are you doing that? He'll just jump in place for a while. I think I was thinking of saving the energy tank for the next, uh, one. Because it's like, I'd rather go at it with full health. You know me. Go straight to a game over. Ooh, you see, that's the power of the slide. Ugh, his spike thing is very tough. Oh, God. And then I... Give me a sec, I'll get back to him. I, I told you, this game is still pretty hard. Alright, I made it back here. I just didn't get the other energy tank. It's like, maybe I should have done that, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Excuse me. Jumping over this asshole is kind of no fun. Man, I'm getting no hits on him. There was one run I had where he just jumped in place and kept on like this. I think it's if you get too far away from him, they'll start doing that. Yeah, he'll get kind of close and just try and push up the distance that he can boost his little spike doohickey. I would just really like to get rid of Needle Man right now. Oh, he just jumps right at me. Oh. We're super close. Let's try again. Alright, so after losing a lot, I decided I was going to not necessarily cheat, but abuse game mechanics. So, I have three energy tanks. How is that possible? Well, you keep your energy tanks every time you game over. So, whenever you die and game over, you still keep that one, so I just replay the stage three times, or two more times, and then I got that one, those two energy tanks, so that I can just brute force this. 
No, that's why I like energy tanks. You can just brute force everything, but... Maybe we can finally beat him now. Now, you're a confusing motherfucker, Needleman. Well, I don't even know why I did that. I accidentally used turbo. I didn't mean to, but... Am I even going to need it? Nah, I, I probably will. <laughs> I don't know why I keep... What? Okay, I forgot to use my energy tank. I forgot that I had it. Let's try again. I think it was because I was going so far that I was like, maybe I can do it without it. It's like, I remember now. I suck at this game. Sorry, I'm not speaking a lot. Uh, we should probably use an energy tank now. Huh? Why do I still have three? I did not. That must be a glitch. Because I remember getting only three. Maybe I got an extra one and it just didn't count it? No, it just didn't register, because it had to go back into the menu. Oh god, I've had to waste three of them just to get by them. It's like, I'm just so bad at this game. I hate when he throws the needles. If I could get by this one last round. Oh! Okay, I had to abuse, but I still got past it. Hey, I'm not cheating. I'm just using what the game gave me. Probably shouldn't have added that into the game. Here we go. We got needle gun. What's it going to call it? Because when they actually start naming it afterwards. Needle Cannon. Okay, and Rush Jet. That's the thing I wanted. Rush Jet... Rush Jet... Rush Jet breaks the game. So now, after we've got the Needle Arm... Uh, I keep calling it Needle Arm. That's the name of a Pokemon move. Anyway, the Needles break Snake Man. Then we'll go to Gemini Man. And the reason I wanted to go to... Uh, Needleman first is because uh, Rush Jet is invaluable in this stage because it's even in the improvements version, it is pretty damn fucked up. It has something in it that's just completely fucked. Oh god, I don't have any lives. If I die, that's okay. I can just show you guys what I'm going to do. I, as you can see, I've played through this stage a lot. Oh god, what the hell did I do? All right, come on. It is currently the 19th, so uh, inauguration day is about to happen. So, so I wonder where that's gonna go. <sighs> even slide. I hate these snakes because they really like to track your movements. Even when you're like sliding and shit and trying to go under them, they just track really well. And there's this piece of shit. I have gone through this snake so many times. At this point, I don't really care if I die. Alright. <sighs> okay. Oh. Mm. Shoot me. Okay. Alright. Alright. Up here, and there's some good health pickups. Ignore that dude. And this reminds me of that part in Needleman stage that we were just at. Okay, best part of the game? Slide. <laughs> that just makes that part so cool. 
I feel cool when I do that. Oh, shit, whatever. Ah. That's not how you're supposed to do that part. You're supposed to do a cool little slide maneuver that I just fucked up there. Either way. Come on. Open up. Alright. Up here is more energy tanks. Possibly. Because these could just contain health or more health. <laughs> There's another spot to do the uh, energy tank trick if you just wanted to uh, get a bunch of energy tanks, but it's unreliable here because, well, you can't really tell if they're actually going to drop energy tanks or if they're just going to drop random health pickups. And health pickups are useful when you're dying, but they're not really useful when you want to finish off a boss. Okay. My trick for this is just to stand over the far edge. Because if you're over here, they the snake dude only throws them in, like, that one arc. Hell yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not horrible, it's just a pain. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I knew I was going to hit that guy. I was going too slow. You're too slow. <sighs> Die, okay. Now we're coming to the most bullshit part of the stage and why we needed Rush Jet. Let's see. Okay. So, on some of these platforms, they shoot up clouds. And the clouds are glitched to hell. And they push you off. So, that's why we are using Rush Jet. Go, Rush. Now, there's a hope that at least we'll try and get past most of this. I don't know if we are. Okay, you see, all those weird column things shoot up the things, so. Yeah, we have no lives, and yeah, but if I fail, I'll just skip back to it since we've already showed off the stage. Now, does Needle Arm go through? It does. Yeah, Snake Man's kind of weird. All he does is just walk back and forth. I actually did that without having to do it. That's the that's the power of the uh, things, the things, energy weapons. I've tried fighting Snake Man a lot. Even if his pattern is very basic, those two snakes he shoots are just so hard to jump over. And then to jump over him afterwards, it's just it would take me a lot of practice. And I always have to go through the stage beforehand, so. I would have rather just kept on fighting him. Anyway, next is Gemini Man, and he's weak to the Search Snake. Oh, crap. I don't know if my mouse was there the entire time. You know it's emulator, so it's fine. I don't think you bros care. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the Saturn over there. I guess this could add into the idea of us being in space instead of being on Earth, I guess. But I never really knew it was like we were in space. Thanks for the extra life. These guys remind me of the weird guys from uh, Mega Man 1. The ones that went like up and down. The fucking annoying ass ones from like uh, Cutman stage and uh, the Wily stages. You know, you just spawned your like fire in the ground. <laughs> Okay, I do not want it. Mm. I'd like to get to a checkpoint so I don't lose myself. Okay. Oh, God. Fucking penguin. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Okay. Here is... Proto Man. Wait. Break Man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, this is Break Man. <laughs> I already gave away the secret. Y'all could tell that who the guy under the mask is somebody different. Shit. Oh. This is the power of Rush Coil. I can't jump from here, but at least we got some shit. Let's see. The search snake is actually pretty good. The needle arm is kind of useless. 
Search Snake lets you uh, jump under it, under things. Oh shit, it fucking sperms are coming at me. Oh, come on. Sperm, go away. <laughs> Sperm, go away. My new catchphrase. Alright. Oh shit. Grabbing that. <laughs> Power of the slide. As you see, I use it a lot. How am I supposed to get through this? Like, get up to that area up there. I guess I just have to shoot out the top area. I'm trying to jump out from under this thing. <laughs> Fucking top, dude. You know, I can kill all of the sperm. I just can't kill those things. Hmm. Maybe, does needle arm help? Nope. Yeah, for some reason it does not help. That's no good. Maybe I can use rush coil to get myself up onto a higher ledge. Holy shit, it's just, it's nothing, so we don't even have to go up. <sighs> Take the needle. Thanks, but <laughs> wrong weapon. It's at least working. It's not working. Go, search snake! Damn it, search snake. We gotta use rush oil again. There we go. Now we've got enough room to shoot the rest of the panels. There we go. All good. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that part. I also don't know why it means, like, Gemini. Maybe Dizio? Like, a, something to do with, like, a twins kind of thing? Because you know what Gemini means twins, or means two. I'm not really sure what Gemini... why it's two. I know it's, like, the constellation, but... Ooh, extra life. You know what I mean? Whenever I see an extra life, it means we don't have to get a game over. What the fuck is this shit? Motherfucker. Rush coil go again. Actually, there we go, that's a bit better. Alright. We're telling it to go fuck itself because we're just gonna take the higher area. There we go. Alright, mini boss probably. Alright, even sliding under the fucking. See, what if I use something like the needle arm on it? Doesn't get hurt. What about the search snake? Hurts the things on the ground, does not hurt him. Okay. Why is this like penguin stage? Okay, um. I just had to really shove my hand in there. Oh no, not another fucking penguin. I fucking love penguins. Just... There we go. Okay. It's like when I... Whenever... You hear whenever I smash my controller down. Ooh. Now that looks tasty. Let's grab it. <laughs> Whenever anything looks good, I say tasty, I guess. That's my new catchphrase. Oh, God. So we don't have the other useful thing. Uh, there's another rush item that we just don't have yet. So maybe we should have gotten and gotten it, but now... Go, Rush Jet! <laughs> oh. Let us Oh, oh. Um that was good, but Uh can I use Rush Jet in water? 
Nope. Um, am I fucked? I guess I'm fucked. <laughs> At least I got that energy tank. I wonder where I respawn, though. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Let's just use Rush Jet here. I didn't think about it beforehand, so... There's actually an extra life down there. Uh, I'm just like... We have to actually do the platforming now. Yeah, those fucking, uh, moth motherfuckers, or... It looks like Yanma from, uh, Pokemon. Yanma, fuck off! Okay, Yanma fucked off. Yeah, I don't like these jumpy motherfuckers. They're also kind of annoying. Okay. Um. <laughs> that was kind of a weird enemy. Let's see, we've got two lives, so we could... And we've got two of these. Let's go in with Search Snake. Uh, I don't think we're going to win the first time. We're probably going to need a game. Not a game over. A death. In order to do this right. Let's just see... Yeah, it does a lot of damage, so... Eh. Alright, we're back. I just had to switch out some shit. <clears throat> had to move stuff. Move, switch, whatever. Oh, there's two of them. No, there are two of them! Alright. It wasn't that hard, I just need to have full life. Cause like, as you keep seeing, my strategy for Mega Man is not that great. <laughs> not that good at Mega Man. But this is like the first time I'm trying to complete a lot of these games, so. I've beaten one, I've beaten two. I haven't beaten three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. I've beaten 10 on easy mode with base. Then I haven't beaten 11, so. I think for now, we've gotten through that one little chain. So next time we will be able to take on other dudes. I think we'll probably either go for Top Man because he's super easy or maybe Magnet Man. I don't know. I'll see you next time.